Welcome to Creative Movies Recapped. Today's recap is a 2007 survival thriller film titled Prey. Watch out for spoilers. The film begins in an African game reserve. An American family arrives hoping to spend a few days on holiday, as engineer Tom Newman supervises the building of a new dam in the region. Tom Newman is accompanied by his new wife, Amy, and his two children Jessica and David. 14-year-old Jessica appears to resent her new mother, as she is unhappy about her parents' divorce. The next morning, Amy, Jessica and David head out for a game drive with Brian, a local ranger. Meanwhile, Tom proceeds to supervise the building of the dam. Brian decides to drive off the main road promising a better view of different wild animals. Sometime later, David requests Brian to stop the car, as he needs to go to the toilet. Brian pulls over, grabs his rifle, and escorts David to a nearby tree. A perfect game drive adventure takes a horrifying turn, when they spot two lionesses and a lion in the tall grass slowly approaching them. Everyone appears terrified as Amy and Jessica desperately call out from the car. Amy decides to head out to distract the hungry lions which begin to attack while David runs to the car and manages to safely get in. As Brian runs back to the car, he trips and knocks down his rifle and fails to get in the car on time. The lioness violently attacks Brian to his final breath and drags his remains away as Amy and her stepchildren watch in utter disbelief. Tension rises as they gradually realize that they are completely lost and trapped in a car with no keys, no signal and above all, three aggressive and relentless lions are stalking them. Amy attempts to comfort the terrified children, assuring them that Tom will come to find them when they fail to return by sunset. Suddenly, the lion pounces on their car and attempts to attack them. A few minutes later, the lion walks away as Amy and the children go quiet but leaves the car damaged with a cracked windshield. A couple of hours pass by, and they begin to feel thirsty and hungry under the scorching sun. Meanwhile, Tom gets back to the hotel, and upon failing to find his family, he asks for help from the park rangers, but they refuse to begin the search right away, requesting Tom to wait until the next morning. Back in the car, the sun eventually sets, as Amy and her stepchildren strongly hope that Tom will come to their rescue. All while, an aggressive and hungry lion roams outside their vehicle, waiting to attack. Meanwhile, the park ranger puts Tom in touch with Crawford, a professional hunter and guide in the region. Tom manages to convince Crawford, who reluctantly agrees after Tom offers to pay him well for his services. The next morning, the rangers proceed to search for Tom's family, but refuse to take Tom along, stating that there is not much space in the plane. Back in the car, David spots the car keys, and Amy quietly walks out to get them. Unexpectedly, the relentless lioness resurfaces to attack Amy, but she manages to grab the keys and runs for the car. Intensely panicking, Amy quickly drives away and takes multiple wrong turns through the savanna thicket, eventually crashing and wrecking the car. The situation becomes increasingly dire and tension rises as Amy and Jessica harshly confront each other. Meanwhile, Tom and Crawford begin looking for signs of them but realize that the rain from the previous night has washed away any tracks that would be of help to them. The rangers eventually fly by and fail to notice them. Followed by Amy, Jessica rushes out to draw their attention to no success. In a split second, a lioness aggressively runs towards them to attack before it's shot and instantly killed by two native hunters. The hunters proceed to slaughter the lion for food, but do not seem to understand a word as Amy and Jessica try to ask for their help. A few moments later, Amy and Jessica manage to sign well enough to convince the hunters that they need some water. One of the hunters leads Jessica to a water source nearby, as Amy reluctantly agrees to stay behind to look after David. Jessica manages to draw some water, to carry it back to the car. Just then they hear a gunshot nearby and rush back, only to find that the other hunter was killed by the two remaining lions. Meanwhile, Tom and Crawford come across lion dung, and Crawford explains that due to its temperature and consistency, the lion had eaten a couple of hours ago, and was already far away. He goes on to explain that once the sun goes down no hunter alive can find his family. Therefore, they decide to set up a camp. The sun goes down, and both Tom and Crawford discuss about lions at the fire. Back in the car, Jessica asks Amy about how she met Tom, and they continue chatting, until the hunter comes back aggressively banging on the door. Just when they let him in, the lion pounces on him, and brutally attacks the hunter before dragging him out, while Amy attempts to save him to no success. The next day, Amy, Jessica, and David decide their only solution is to survive with what they have in the car. They resolve to block the windows that were previously smashed down by the lion. 
Crawford and Tom find the bones of one of the lion's previous victims, and Crawford remarks that they need to proceed with caution. A few moments later, Crawford suggests they go back and head west the next day, but Tom strongly disagrees, insisting that they need to first cover the area. Amy and the children hear Crawford's car at a distance, and Amy rushes out of the car to call out for help. Crawford and Tom begin to hear a faint call for help, and run to the top of the hill spotting Amy. Crawford and Tom run down the hill only to spot a fearless lioness approaching to prey on Tom. Just in time, Crawford manages to shoot the lioness to its death, and Tom runs to the car for safety. Things take a turn for the worse, when the remaining lion suddenly attacks Crawford, until his last breath. The angry lion proceeds to attack Tom who makes it to the car, but the door appears stuck, he crawls under the car, but the relentless lion is determined to get him. Amy appears to have a plan as she breaks open the gas tank. She then instructs Tom, Jessica, and David to run when she says so. Amy proceeds to draw the lion's attention from the back of the car, as the rest run through the front, to climb a nearby tree. The roaring lion jumps into the car as Amy initially struggles, but manages to light a cloth exposed to gasoline using a lighter. Instantly, the car explodes. The lion is heard screaming in agony before its last breath. Tom and the children shortly believe that Amy is dead, but she appears beside the flames. Jessica appears to finally acknowledge Amy as her mother, and they all head back to Crawford's car as Tom remarks that they should head home. That's it for today's recap. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to enjoy more captivating movie recaps.